How's it going, everybody? Abuza here, and welcome back to the next Talk Time episode. Currently, it is 5.54 p.m. on February 12th, 2016. So I hope everyone's been having a good week. My week's been all right so far. Um, I wonder if I should make this a every week kind of thing, like every single Friday. I feel like that would be kind of cool, having a certain schedule for a, a series like this. Because I not only do I really enjoy making these, because I get to like talk to you guys, or I get to tell you guys about how my life's been doing. Um, but yeah, I think that it would be cool making them an every week thing. But with me, I, I feel like I'm going to forget it after a while. But, uh, we'll see. It, it, hopefully, uh, starting now, it should be an every Friday thing, but if for some reason it's not there next Friday, just be one that it was probably me forgetting because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but anyways, let's get on to, uh, some stuff that's been going on in my life. I've been waiting for, like, gosh, like, five or six days. It's been for a, it's been a long, long time. I've been waiting to actually be able to use OP skins again and be able to buy stuff skins on there so I could go on CSGO wild and then coin flip on there and I've just been having a shit ton of issues here let me let me go through let me find the, the ticket that I have open uh open skins tickets okay. so I kind of I talked to him about my PayPal because now that I'm 18 I have the ability to use PayPal on their on their site uh, as a way to get funds onto the thing and I was having issues or well what happened was first I decided that I would contact them and let them know that I put I put my ID information in like I sent them the information and stuff and they told me that I've been whitelisted and once they told me that I was whitelisted um, I uh, once after I was whitelisted I went on there to add funds and it still gave me like an issue like it wasn't working and they told me to turn off any VPN or proxy and try again in 36 hours and then I told them that I'm not sure how to disable a VPN However, I can, or I have turned off all proxy issues that I have with my computer, or that, uh, with my browser and whatnot, and it's, it was 30, 36 hours later, because they told me to do, or to disable proxy, or disable the proxy, and then, uh, try again 36 hours. I told them that it's been 36 hours, and I'm still not able to use PayPal as a way to purchase OP points. I'm almost certain that I disabled any proxy that I have, but I'm not very sure how to disable a VPN, even if I have one for that matter. And... Anyways, I, I was telling them, if there's another issue, let me know. And they said, you didn't halt all purchases for two days. Please do so. And I, and I didn't understand what that guy was saying. So I asked him, and then he said that he means purchasing or attempting to purchase with anything, either purchasing funds with any of the checkout methods, Bitcoin, Paywall, Wall, etc., or buying skins with your current funds. You need to stop all account activity. So I said, all right. So I waited an entire two days, and a little over two days, actually. It has been almost three. And I went on there, and I told them, and I'm still having issues. It's not fucking working. And then you tell me, please disable your proxy. It's already disabled. Thank you very much. So I responded to him a bit salty, and I'm still waiting for a response now because I already told him I disabled it. And so I assume that it's my VPN that's being the problem, which is going to be frustrating because I have no fucking idea how to disable a VPN on my on my computer or with my internet, for that matter. However, though, I'm very excited because I'm going to start, once I get money, or once I can start putting OP points, my dog is also, <sighs> anyways, once I have the ability to put OP points, or get, purchase OP points, or whatever, so I can purchase stuff, I'm going to put $50 on CSGO Wild, and I think I'm going to make a series out of it. Hopefully, I don't get fucked over and I lose it all, but it should, I'm going to make a series on it, and it'll be like me, it won't, it won't be a series, but it'll just be periodically or every few days I'll do like a video of me betting and whatnot, and maybe people will be interested in that. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, really hyped. A friend of mine actually finally got into coin flipping because he, for the longest time he didn't trust it and he kept, he didn't believe me when I would tell him how fucking great of a chance you got. I mean, 50% to win over having that point zero whatever percent to be able to unlock a knife or get a knife in a box is such a better chance. But so finally he did it, he put five bucks on it and he went all the way up to $200 and he got himself a butterfly knife, blue steel, minimal wear. And it's like, well, why the, why the fuck? I, I'm sorry, I had to zoom in so I could show my little hands. He's like as if I'm confused. Uh, yeah, it was, I, I, he was like, oh, this is fucking great. And I was like, well, I've, I've been telling you for the longest time, dude, you gotta try it. Freaking, this cool, it's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't upload for two days, and I do apologize for that, but I also had to work on my senior portfolio. That was actually due, that was due today, but I was doing it last, last day because I'm a procrastinating piece of shit, but, but yeah, so, 
I got that all set up and I made my whole binder and anything. It has like my resume, my values, my goals and all that in there. And it, uh, we've been doing that over the process of like eight weeks or seven weeks, however long we've been working on it. Uh, yeah, so got that all set up. And now all we have left is our own presentation and interviews, which is like, it's like a little test interview, like for, maybe I should back up, maybe. Maybe that's better. All right, there we go. Oh wait, no, then I'm farther away from the mic, I'm stupid. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, there was a, the oral presentation I'm absolutely terrified about. However, I'm actually not that bad of a public speaker. Like when I go up in front of people and I talk, I'm not like, no, I, it, it's just my, like, I get really like shaky, but I get, I give myself a clear voice and I am able to portray what I'm trying to say to people without not having a very big issue. Oh, my phone had a message, but yeah, it. That, that's going to be the worst part, though. I'm, it's for 15 minutes we have to be up there, and we have to talk about something that we're going to be doing. And for my senior project, I decided to make my job on content creation, which is what I hope to be able to pursue in. Because I, I really, really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. Right now, I'm just doing it as a hobby, of course, and doing it for fun. But, yeah, it's it's a blast. I love doing this, you guys. It, it It's just it's a great way to be able to connect with people and talk to people. Well, with this kind of series, for that matter. Because I, I wish more people commented, man. I mean, it, I get comments here and there, but I wish I want to be that guy who gets like a shit ton of comments, and I want to try and like respond to each and every single one. I know when we get into the future, where or if I ever get to the point where I have like, you know, like a few hundred thousand subscribers, I think when I get to that point, it it may be a little bit hard for answering everyone that's like giving me a positive response or something like that, but I really do plan on responding like that because there are a lot of times on YouTube where I'll get, I'll be on YouTube and then I'll get a notification, not only on my phone, but on the little bell thing in the corner and someone will comment and I almost comment instantly or whenever, as soon as I see the message, but like I'll get messages where it says like 20 seconds ago and I just respond like really quick and like, wow, that was fast. But yeah, I, 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 I really do love YouTube. And it's um, it's a career I really do want to pursue in if that ever do, does become an opportunity. But yeah, so I'm going to be up there for 15 minutes talking about content creation. Now it's a good way to be able to make it a job if you're popular enough and you get good enough views and stuff and people enjoy your content. That's going to be, that would be so great. But yeah, 15 minutes up there. I'm just going to be like, I think my one of my legs is just going to be hella shaken because the last time I did a presentation was my sophomore year, which was like for my history class. But it, it was like a quick like minute or two thing. We made like a big poster about like some event in history and we had to explain what happened, blah, blah, blah. And I went up there. My right leg was so fucking shaking. It was like, it was just doing this the entire time. And I'm just sitting up there. But I had a very clear voice and I was like, I was, and the teacher said other than great content, it was, or the great content oh my god excuse me I'm, I'm still a little bit sick i've been sick recently but anyways he he said other than eye contact because i didn't give much eye contact i can i fucking hate giving eye contact to people it makes me feel so uncomfortable like when someone's talking to me i try and look away and then periodically look at them like oh yeah 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 for sure but oh my god i i can't give eye contact eye contact is the hardest hardest thing especially when but yeah with all the people around me I'm like, I would periodically look, but I was like, nope, I can't fucking do it. I would just kind of stare at um, the teacher, and I would look I, I, on, above people and look around, and that was so, that was bad. But he, yeah, he said, other than eye contact, that was one of the best, or he said, that was one of the best or the best presentation that he's had so far. And everyone's like, yeah, that was great. That was, that was really good. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even think I had, I was, I did a good job, but Apparently my speaking voice, like a public speaking voice, is actually very, very good, and I don't sound bad when I'm publicly speaking. Uh, I may stutter here and there because, well, I may, I probably will end up practicing. With, uh, I'll make my slideshow with the, about all the consecration and stuff. I think I'll do that. I'll think, I think I'll make the slideshow and everything, and then I'll practice it at home. I'll like sit in my room right here. And... Voice crack. <laughs> I'll probably sit in here and I'll uh, I'll repeat it over and over again to like say stuff that I'm gonna be talking about because I'm gonna have like little little mini captions that says like I don't know like a few words and then I'll explain more in detail of it. But yeah, the 50 minutes is gonna that's gonna be a pain in the ass, but I don't think I'm gonna do bad on it. But it's just going to be the one of the scariest moments in my life. <laughs> and apparently everyone is so fucking terrified of the interviews. Apparently, the interviews are the hardest. Thing ever like I, I think well we get graded on it and one of the worst things that I hate first off is I have to dress up in like a suit and I'm gonna look like a piece of shit in that suit I do not think I look good in suits whatsoever but 
everyone says in the interviews, like, my mom actually has told me that when she has had interviews in the past, like, out of the, she had three job interviews, like, before she got the job she has now, but the three interviews she had, she, like, started crying in the middle of them because she got so terrified. I don't see what the big deal is, though, to be honest, about interviews. Like, I'm gonna go in there, but I don't, they don't sound that bad to me. I'm gonna get nervous, but I'm not going to be, like, oh my god, this is so te terrible. It's just being around a bunch of people is what I do not like. That's why I can never, ever become a teacher. That would scare the living shit out of me. Yeah, so basically, the, today, or this week has consisted of me waiting for OP skins to stop fucking with me and let me figure out my shit, and just finishing my senior project. Oh, speaking of that, what happened was, uh, with the senior project thing, we all got set up for our oral presentations, like our schedule, and some of the people are, like, doing it in April, so they have, like, months to work on it, or, like, a month or two to work on it, and I'm doing mine in two weeks, because, uh, my teacher gives more slack to the first couple of people that do it and I didn't want to go first so I wanted to go second uh but yeah so if I go up there and I fuck something up he said that we get more slack so I have a chance I can fuck up more things before I lose points or I, I get a better grade like say if I get like if it's graded I think it's like 150 points I think if I got like 100 points for example which is oh shit that's like a d <laughs> but say if I got like 100 points out of 150 I would probably get like 10 or 20 extra points just because uh i went up there first and i i wasn't able to experience what other people have been doing for their senior projects or their oral presentations but yeah so the senior project thing's almost done with the oral presentation i'm fucking terrified oh my god i'm so scared but that and op skins i've been waiting on but other than that guys uh it's been a good week i uh, hope you guys did enjoy your week and i hope you guys do enjoy your 3d weekend if you do have a 3d week and i do for school but i'm gonna be probably working on monday Anyways guys, take care, have a great day. Peace.